All right, guys, so here we are. We're at about, I think we're 365 days into the quarantine. I mean, 21 days into the quarantine at the Love Lady Center. Uh, I've been asked to do a little bit of a video to kind of walk you through the day of my day of what I do um, at the Love Lady Center to help us get through the quarantine. So what I was going to do is just kind of start this morning. We're headed to uh, my staff prayer. Um, I'll just do some short videos kind of throughout the day just to kind of give you a, a glimpse of what's going on today. And uh, we'll just see you in a little while. Okay, so here we are on our 23rd day of our quarantine, I believe. Uh, just got through with uh, the 9 o'clock church service. Uh, 10 o'clock just started. Uh, I'm working the store, giving the girl a break so she can go attend her church service. Um, looking forward to our Easter uh, lunch. I think everybody's a little tired, but um, I also think that everybody's kind of getting into a groove and um, I believe that the the staff and the, the girls especially, everybody's got a great attitude. Um, we've lost a few people, but um, more importantly, uh, I've seen attitudes switch from some negative to good. Most everybody seems to realize that we're in a situation and they have gotten to uh, to the point where they realize that we're doing what we've got to do and, and I think everybody knows that everybody's doing their best and I think everybody seems to be appreciative. I mean, a lot more appreciative than what they started out. I think probably the person that's benefited the most out of being locked up in this center is me. Um, I've gotten to know a lot of the, the people that I really never took the chance uh, or the time to get to know and I've realize there is a lot of good people in this center and these women have been such an inspiration to me and it has been an absolute honor to assist and to help them um, my daily responsibilities are you messing up my video here come Melissa messing up my video with Oh, hold on, I guess. Pause hey. it, eat my tomato gravy. Hey. Day 24 of our quarantine. It's what day and week is it? Monday. Day 24 of our quarantine. <laughs> and I used to think that I was pretty strong until I got locked up with my sister for 24 days. After that, I realized that I am not strong at all after seeing how powerful and strong that she is. She is a very, very strong person, and it is an honor to work beside her. She is relentless in her job, in her faith, in everything that she does. It is an absolute, when I say it's an honor, it is a true, true honor. I look up to her. I admire her, and it, I, I cannot express it enough. If I had to be locked up with anybody, it would be my baby sister. Well, that is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. I'm going to break my six foot. <laughs> That's a miracle mm -hmm. on its own. And getting locked up with him has been, or locked in, not up, glory to God, <laughs> <laughs> has been an absolute honor. It's amazing how God... Uh, provides in such a, in such a time as this how uh, Bo being hesitant to be part of the ministry for so long and then he comes in the nick of time because we could not be doing what we're doing without him. He true that <laughs> he brings a set of gifts and talents that that, that 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 there's no way that I could could do we could do what we're doing. So I'm uh, beyond grateful and it just shows God's faithfulness. And his provision that he knew what was to come and that we needed we needed both and i'm forever grateful uh we let people come in with donations we put them show them the pallet we let them come in we put them on the pallet 
we sanitize them and then we take them from there and then we uh, let them come in the door. This is Big Baby. This has turned out to be one of my best friends in this building. She works her butt off. I'm talking about from the time that we open up to the time we close. She is always on point and getting down all the time. Everybody in this place depends on her and I want everybody to know how much we appreciate her. You got anything to say? Fried chicken fried, don't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> We're going through donations, kind of sifting through what's good, what we can use and what we can't use. Um, Megan, Ted, Tammy, they're sifting through it. Megan, you got anything to say? Um, I just, I just want to say how blessed we are here at the Love Lady with all our donations and we, everyone willing to help in the kitchen. You know, we still manage to feed 300 people a day, three times a day, and it's a blessing. Um, it's just a blessing to be here, and I'm glad that they gave me the opportunity to do my thing in here. Heather, Heather, you got something? Um, I just enjoy cooking, and um, even though it's been kind of hard, you know, with everything going out, going on in the world, um, I just believe in God, and He has continued to bless us here at the Love Lady. We get two or three trucks a day of donations that come in. We can't use them all because we get so much, but we're also able to feed a lot of the graduates that's outside of the building with a lot of stuff that we get. We've been able to get probably 10, 12 boxes every other day out toward, to the graduates outside the building. 